What is up my Squirtleites, it is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Medal of Honor European Assault. In the last episode, we finished off Farmhouse Liberation, and in this episode, it's the final level. My nun told me Von Schrader's plan about the dirty bomb, and it all fits. The launch site in St. Nazaire, the secret weapons in North Africa, the virus house information in Russia, now here. Intel believes he intended to use the bomb on London, but now that the Germans are desperate, he might use it in the Ardennes. It'll kill thousands. My orders are to find him and stop him, no matter what the cost. Operation Virus House. Oh. You know, I don't even know how to preface this. I, we're just going to jump into it, and you're going to see how just much of a nightmare this mission is. But here we go. We, okay, it's beyond the, yeah, it's on the other side. All right, so here we go, everybody. This, this is Operation Virus House. I uh, don't want this, uh, whatever I've got here, for sure. Can I actually hit this guy over here? There we go. I, I definitely don't want this thing. What I'm going to be carrying in this second slot is going to be my bazooka, and I'm going to want to stock up on the shells for this thing as much as possible as going through this entire mission. Now, the thing about this mission is... You thought there were a lot of tanks in the last last two missions? You ain't seen nothing yet. The the tanks never freaking end in this one. Actually, maybe there is an actual count of them I can make. I don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe there is. I don't know. I can't remember exactly. I I want to say there's there's tons. I'm willing to bet at least nine or eight. Actually, there might be eight. Eight might be the actual eight number. That was a good shot. Okay. Um, but yes, let's just keep working our way over here. Is no one gonna shoot that? Oh, that guy is on our side. Okay, let's not shoot him. Let's shoot this guy, though. Can I shoot you? Hey, is this tank? That tank did not die. Hold on. That tank did not die. Why did it not die? I shot the Neville Werfer thing. At there we go. That was all I needed left. But what the freak? That usually takes it out. That was dumb. Okay. So yeah, we're going to want to definitely stock up on this bazooka, ow, this bazooka ammo. It's going to be incredibly important to do so because of the final area that we're going to be getting into. And honestly, this level isn't that bad until we reach said final area. Okay, I don't, okay. Okay, yeah, I want to head over here. So there's this guy over here and he blows up, which is unfortunate for him. Radio this airstrike, grab this med kit. That tank is going to blow up because of said airstrike, so I would not worry about it. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go as far to the left as possible. Because this is honestly going to be where you have the most cover from the onslaught of things that are going to be firing at you. And remember, stock up on bazooka ammo. You're going to need it. There's a med kit over here. Let's grab that. I'm actually not doing so bad at all. Uh, looks like there's more bazooka ammo ahead. There's a German in there. Oh, that was a good shot. German in there. Let's get down. Now let me stay with this guy. Get my shots. There we go. I'm going to grab this health so I don't have to end up using a med kit. And it doesn't know why there's going to be anyone else in here. Ah! Stop that. All right, let's work our way over here. Grab this German one grand ammo, and I'm just going to get down. This is probably the best way to traverse this area is to just kind of stay down and just kind of crawl your way through and shoot anything you see as you come around the corner. And that's really the best way to go through this whole area. It's the only... Okay, he was shooting me through a wall, which I was not, I did not appreciate whatsoever. Whatever. Alright, so I got adrenaline, which I know exactly what I want to use that. Now, there are three entrenched tanks over here. These tanks are actually not going to be a problem because they have spots where you can place charges on the back of them. On all three of them. So get behind them. I wouldn't worry. But I would not try to be placing those charges until you take care of some things over here first. Plus, there is one tank that is actually roaming around that is going to be a problem. Let's do that. Can I get you? Please. Like, come on. Come on. Come on. I'm not a good shot. I know. I know. I know. There we go. All right. Good. Whew. And I just kind of stood there and took that. But I honestly do not mind whatsoever. We're going to... Work our way over here. Let me see. There's going to be a guy in here. Oh, there's got a few guys in here. Okay, I got rid of them. And I'm going to want to pick this up, the STG-44, because it is... Well... Actually, you know what? 
Okay, so I'm just gonna make a confession here. I already ran through this level, and I failed. I, I actually didn't fail miserably. I actually did really, really well up until the final area where I got absolutely massacred. Um, which happens. That's this, this. This this level is not that bad until the final area. But that being said, I died. Like I lost all of my revives in just the final area. I didn't die once up to it, and then I lost all of them in that final spot. So. I am I am now re-recording this, and I used the STG44 going into that area, and I'm like, well, maybe I'll actually have better success if I use the M1 Garand. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Doing. Wait a minute, what are you doing back here, buddy? How'd you get over here? That's kind of funky. I didn't know any of the other allies could make it over here. Let's grab all of this. I know it's weird, as this one's glitched. You actually can't uh, pick it up for whatever reason. I think maybe if you mount this machine gun, but I didn't. No, you can't. Okay, didn't think so. So, there's a bunch of guys down there. Let's get low and try to fire on them. You can actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's just do this. Or I cannot. Oh no, that's because I'm crouching. Crap. Let's get you. And then if I can actually land my shots, please. I can't do it. I cannot do it. I apparently cannot land my shots. Okay, well, the airstrike took out the rest of those guys over there, but you're going to have to take care of the first group yourself. Let's set the charges and take out these tanks. And guys, please step away from those things. It's going to kill you. Yeah, lo like, look at this dumb idiot. He's dead now because of that. Because he just stood there. He just stood right there and let that... Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Golly. I love it when my shots just don't even land. Uh, my, my cursor was here clearly highlighted and I was shooting him. I mean, granted it was in the foot, but it wasn't doing anything. This is still a two shot in the foot in this game. Like, what the crap? That's a bunch of bogus, man. Alright, now let's take care of this tank. And that will be all of them. It will grant us a revive for doing so. So that's good. We're definitely going to want to take advantage of that. Now, if I can Actually... You know what? I'm going to backtrack here. Where did that revive go? Is it by the second tank? There it is. Okay. I'm going to backtrack because I believe there was actually a revive that appears. Uh, oh, there's this med kit. I'm glad I'm backtracking then. Um, oh, and another one. Okay. Perfect. All right. Well, let's take care of these guys then. And maybe I can get rid of this. There's more med kits. Holy crap. Oh wow, good shooting, kind of. Let's get rid of him. Let's grab this bazooka ammo. I am out of bazooka, or I am out of space for bazooka ammo. And I'm gonna backtrack to where I radioed that airstrike, because there actually might be a revive over there. If not, I'm going to cut this out. But hopefully, there there is one. Good. See, this is why I, this is why I'm going back. This is a good. This was a good idea after all. I'm very glad I did that. All right, I'm definitely going to need that for the the coming area. So, this entire side of the Ardennes is now clear. We don't have to worry about any of this. That's why I'm just kind of walking around aimlessly, because it's like, well, I've, I've killed everything. We are pretty much good. We've all secured this area. But, uh, going over this thing, or actually it's not that thing, it's actually a little other hill over here, uh, we'll be running into a bit more fun um, going into the next area. But, it is best to just kind of play the sniper and hang back in that area, because it's really not that hard to get through so, so this is said German side of the Ardennes uh, pretty much every ally that goes over here is going to die so don't even concern yourself with them now if you hang in the very very back there's actually a lot of ammo of just, just tons and tons of ammo to be had so that's a good thing there's okay I'm out of bazooka ammo but I, I am going to be able to use this, because guess what? There are actually tanks on this side. There are a few of them. Let me see if I can land my actual shots. You can, and what I'm glad is that the draw distance is as mediocre as it is in this game, actually does telegraph when you're landing a shot on like a tank or something, which is really, really nice. There, Wow, there goes one of them already, and the other one is this one right here. So I'm going to actually be firing all of my shells on them. Watch out. I got you, buddy. I know he's firing at you, but I think I can get rid of it. Yeah, three shots per. I will not complain about that. Usually, it sometimes takes... It, it usually takes four, so that is not something to complain about. That it happened to be three that time. 
and I want to grab all of the bazooka ammo I could possibly get going into this final area. I know I keep repeating that, but it's something I want to shove down your throats, especially for the harder difficulties. Bazookas are going to be your lifesavers going into this, uh, into this, because this last area, this whole mission, this mission as a whole is not as bad as Farmhouse Liberation, but there are so many, there's so much bullcrap that you're going to encounter going into this final area that you're gonna, oh, you're going to, uh, you're gonna really need all the help you can get because that this last area in and of itself makes this mission pretty bad. All right, and there is a bonus objective we still have not yet completed before going into the bunker that we're gonna need to make sure we take care of. So, let's see if I can get rid of this guy in the tur turret. If I can actually hit him, apparently I can't. Uh, one of these turrets, where is it? Where is it? One of these, uh, yeah, one of these actually has. Uh, the document's in it. Yeah, this is the one! Don't you... Who the frick? Okay, who the hell? Who is shooting at me? Stop. 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 You guys. Die. Okay, I need you all to die. Come on, guys. And don't even worry about your teammates, by the way. For one, this is the last mission, so it's not like you're going to get a medkit bonus. And two, they're not going to be following you into the final area. Spoiler alert! But that's actually something you need to know. I think I'm also doing better on medkits this time than I was the last time. Uh, but that being said, you can never have too many. Oh, wait, yes, you can too have too many. Eight. Eight is the most you can have. All right. So there's a tank up top of this hill. Don't waste your bazooka shells on it because as, soon as, you, if, as long as you've radioed in that airstrike from earlier. I'm just doing that to, to reload. Guess what? Kaboom! Problem solved. All right. So now, we are getting into the part where you're going to be on your own. Okay, so we're going to jump down here. Grab this. And stay down. Because this is where things get really, really tricky. There's one. Okay, hold on to this adrenaline too. You do not want to lose it. Because it is so imperative that you keep it for this final area. Because you're going to need to run through and just destroy everything if possible. Got him. Okay, please stop. Ah, crap. Oh, good shot. Good shot. Okay, I think that's it. So now I'm going to use a med kit. Go in here. And there are med kits inside this bunker, but this is the point of no return. Alright, here. Oh, well, apparently that charge didn't want to set, so now I have to wind it up all over again. <sighs> oh, gosh. I don't want to do this. This part always just like this is my most dreaded part of the entire game. Like I mean, don't, I hate the farmhouse liberation mission's hard, but I like it. It's fun. This part is absolute horse crap. Like it, it's it's stupid how how hard it is. I think that got rid of a couple of them. Okay. I can get rid of any others. Go this way. Just in case. Is there a medkit here? But I think no, but I think there is down the other direction. Got you. Got you. Nope. Any left? I see health. I want it. But oh what the crap that didn't land. There we go. Whew! Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. Now is there a medkit down over this way? There is not. Okay, but I... Okay, if it's not in there, then I know where this last one is. It's actually to the left. Don't go right yet. Right is where things get really scary. Okay. Here goes nothing. William Holt. Yes, I know who you are. I have made you a study of mine. My men never really appreciated you. That was their downfall, I think. I, however, have found you a worthy adversary. But all games have their end. This too is at its cost. It is pointless to try and stop this. The device will. Oh, I missed. Crap. Okay. Oh, that was dumb. I blew myself up. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, there goes one revive. Uh, I was trying to focus, I really was. Okay. I've got rid of most of them, though, I think. 
Okay, here we go. I have to be quick though, because there is a timer. Okay, easy. Work your way down. Oh, that was two of them I got right there. I get him? Got him. Okay, there's gonna be a guy that's gonna come around this corner and be a dick. Watch out for him. Whew, he was actually the one who killed me in the last one, so I'm already doing better. And here comes the next really, really fun part. So going up here, oh, this room sucks. Uh, the boss is right up there. Right, oh, sorry, right up there. So, where is he, where is he, where is he? am I finished? Oh no, don't, 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 oh, see, this is where it sucks. This is where it really, 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 really sucks. I hate this part so much. Oh gosh, I hate this part. Oh my gosh, did I get him? Please get him, please get him, please get him. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. I really wish I could punch these guys. Okay, hold on, I gotta, I gotta fire up there again. Did I get, ah, I missed him again. Shoot, I am in trouble. I am in trouble, because guess what? If he's gonna send a never stream, or never, <laughs> never ending stream of enemies at me, and I cannot do this deal with that right now. Oh my gosh, I'm going to die. I'm not gonna be able to freaking do this. I cannot do this. This part is so bull. Okay, got you. I get him? I think I got him. Oh no, no, oh no, no, oh no, 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 no. I don't care. I don't care anymore. Bert. You know what? No. No. Stop. I quit. I'm done. Ugh. I'm sorry. I gave up. I quit on this level. I I can't I can't I cannot freaking I can't freaking do it. I can't freaking do it. I don't know how I did it when I was younger. It's not easy. It's a pain in the butt. It really, really is. You know what? I think I might have just played it at an easier difficulty when I was younger. I don't freaking know. I don't like it. This this end of the game is the worst part about this game. It's probably the only reason why this is not my favorite Medal of Honor. It's just this part. But it's done. We did it. Medal of Honor is over, and I'm going to shoot a million freaking bazooka shells. Okay. It's over. Ugh. Ugh. You know, I think I earned that. I don't care what if so people are gonna probably bitch and moan about that, but you, let, me, let me tell you something. Okay, I've suffered through many a game. Okay, and I already and I did just suffer through that, and not not uh, not I don't like enjoy the game, and I actually for the most of the game it was pretty easy. Um, I feel like I earned that. If I miss the gold, however, though. I'm going to kill myself. You will, you will hear a gunshot and this video will be over. Okay. <sighs> Let's just see the end of this. Crowded so much as twitches. Corporal Fielder, with me. Oh, thought we lost you there. What happened to Von Schrader? Dead. He's gone. It's all gone. Good work, Holt. Here, I'm in order to give you this. The Krauts are falling back to Berlin. Our forces will be right behind them. Will you be following the action? Yeah, I'll be there. Then let's give them hell. Carry on, Lieutenant. Sir. That was a long time ago. 
For a lot of my buddies, the war was over. Some of them went home. Most didn't make it. When people ask me if I was a hero in the war, I think about the ones who were left behind. They were the heroes. I don't know how I survived, but I did. So I keep their memory alive. I owe it to them. We all do. For what they did. And we did it! Gold across the board. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this Let's Play. Metal Modern European Assault is probably the shooter that really got me into shooters. Like, I, I played Rising Sun before that, and aside from that, I didn't really play any shooters um, at the time. Well, before those anyway. Um, and I also played like Call of Duty 2, Big Red 1, and... Metal Bomber Frontline, and uh, some games that were only ha kind of shooters, like Star, like Star Wars Battlefront's a third-person shooter, stuff like that. But this was really my big first-person shooter that I played all the time, was this game. And I would always try to find new ways to challenge myself and go through it and blah, 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 blah. Um, I mean, I, re I really enjoy it. Looking back, it's a very good game. It does a lot right. Um, but it does quite a, also quite a bit wrong. I think most of that has to do with the difficulty and just kind of the way it throws enemies at you. Um, the AI is really the thing I, dis, I dislike the most about this game. The AI is very funky in this game. It's, um, it's, it's just not well programmed. I hate to say it. It really isn't. Um, and this game is a real treat. And if you can ever get friends and play some script, script, split screen multiplayer, it's a lot of fun on this game. Um, and I think it's really well designed for its time. I think they did a very good job with it. I mean, I, I say that, but then it was like only like a year later that Half-Life 2 came out. So maybe I'm giving it too much credit, but granted Half-Life 2 was freaking groundbreaking. But I still think this was better than most shooters at the time. Um, really, really good game. I really enjoy it. Um, and again, aside from that very end section of the last mission this game is arguably my favorite shooter one of my favorite shooters of all time uh it's a lot of fun and i i do recommend it i think it's a good game to go look back on a good a fun game to play and it's one of the better world war ii shooters out there um but yeah as for future medal of honor games i know i've gotten questions about this Am I, you should do medal of honor vanguard you should do medal of honor airborne blah 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 blah, blah. all these medal of honor suggestions and you know what i honestly i don't think also that art intern said Genova Chen is that the same Genova Chen that founded that game company and made journey because if it is I'm going to that is amazing anyway <laughs> um I, I I would assume it is but anyway um yeah uh Medal of Honor any other Medal of Honor game I didn't grow up with I don't really see why I would be Let's Playing it then, because I really am only Let's Playing, I only Let's, let's Played Frontline, Rising Sun, and European Assault for nostalgic reasons. They were big part of the games that I played as a teenager, or as a young teenager, when I was like 13, 14. I played it, them a ton. Probably my most played games, actually, um, at the time. And that's that's why I, I did the Let's Plays of them. Vanguard and Heroes and... Uh, Allied Assault and all those games. I have no history with them, so it's very unlikely that I will let's play them. But if, but I do own a couple of them. If I, I may get around to it, but it probably won't be for a very long time. So don't expect it uh, within the next couple years. Um, but that being said, thank you all so very, very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.